here. That's right. Creating goodwill. And you guys that are donating are also helping the cause. Thank you so much. We appreciate it so, so much. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Yeah, we've got Street Fighter to the right of me. we got... Uh, obviously, Smash Ultimate here, and then up the middle, we just got a crowd full of friendly and familiar faces, man, just along for the journey. Huge, huge shout out to obviously uh, the Orange County Goodwill. They treated us very, very well. Obviously, they took us on a tour, they fed us, they showed yeah, us the, in, the ins and outs, too, from literally the minute something comes into their doors to the minute they have to sell, they showed us the processing cycle, and I thought that was really awesome, you know? Yeah. Shout out to Nega Paladin uh, for the dollar and 69 cents. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Every every little bit counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I respect it. You know I what love I mean? it. Alright, so we got Pelka versus Larry here. And now Snake Wolf here. I'm, I'm very surprised Larry not opting to go with the Fox here. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh another one. I N T underscore dark underscore night donated one dollar and one cent. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen. Every little bit counts. We thank you for your contributions there, my friend. Oh yeah. Now, but, yeah, but just I, to touch on what you were talking about, yeah, you know, it is surprising that he is playing Wolfer. But, you know, when I was at ESA just last week, uh, or not last week, excuse me, last month, I got to see the Wolf in action. I was like, you know what? Is he playing Wolf because Wolf is such a, a strong character that a top player can pilot him with relative ease? Yes, but then Larry Lur is also piloting this character, too. And this character now has become ten times more potent, you know? Yes. Definitely um, Larry loving the uh, spacey archetype so any of the space animals larry really likes to play and we've even saw the falco earlier this tournament as well the wolf is another space animal that probably the strongest space animal i think everyone in the smash community can agree with that mm -hmm. and larry definitely can abuse the ledge trapping that comes with this character mm -hmm. yeah man down smash you know down tilt uh you know forward so i mean you name it i mean a lot of what wolf can do can really be a thorn and snake style okay i like that direction air dodges up towards the ledge of stage Whiffs the grab, he won't be able to survive too many more of those. And I'm liking the coverage using the grenade right there. Maybe he should have cooked it a little bit longer, who knows? Yeah, and right now Pelka living very, very long, but the slash is gonna come through and close out that stock at 170%. Pelka getting a lot of stock mileage, but not tacking on too much percent. That's right, and that could come back and hurt him here. Okay, I like that, try to be a little sneaky Ooh. with the up tilt. The fancy jump backwards right into the back throw. Shout out to the, wait, powerful Antoine, it's me. Thank you for the dollar and 69 donation. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, it's I stuck did, back did, on him. Right, that was quick, man. But so was that, man. Easy come, <laughs> easy go. The yeah. up tilt immediately closing that out and drawing this thing that much closer. 69.2%. Obviously, his damage is certainly climbing here. Ooh. Oh, my. And he got swiped. My man Pelka got swiped. And even if you're Snake, that, and wow, a hundred dollar donation. That's right. The Vernal Equinox donated a hundred dollars, man. Shout out to you. You are yeah. definitely the homie right now. You're my best friend, okay? Man, he, he, he saw Larry get that down smash, and he was like, yo, I, I, I got to throw in the money, I man. I got to throw in. Show me the money. Show me the money. And honestly, Larry not dealing too much damage here. We are talking about Snake here. Can Pelka close out the stock without taking too much damage? And the answer is yes. The answer is most definitely yes. 44%, certainly nothing to sneeze at here. Not the best spot to be in in the world, but certainly far from the absolute worst right here. But right now, obviously, he has to play the floor's lava game. Larry Lur completely hot on his trail our stuff right there going up to the top platform has to respect the grenades because Ooh. stuff like this happens you know fox falco uh wolf traditionally have always been combo uh just combo food you yeah. know and obviously when you have grenades and you have c4s obviously that just aids yourself you know what i'm saying like you just it just makes it so much easier to put percent on because now you don't have to worry about getting too close for comfort versus these characters and you got to watch out too, especially if Snake is in shield with the grenade. He usually can like jump out of shield and convert off of the grenade explosion as well at these uh, early to mid percent. So Larry only sitting at 65, but still very dangerous against Snake. Oh, just yes. because of how strong this character is. Oh, oh man, my. just like that, 86 on Larry. 80, oh wait, he's going low right there. Did the grenade hurt him? No. Burns the air dies. I know he didn't want to do that. Oh, oh my goodness. And then he waited out. I, did it extend because of this, uh, the Cypher yes. hitbox? Is that what happened? And most of the time, Snake is very safe when he goes for that directional air dodge because the Cypher is covering him. Uh -huh. But uh, the range on the claws there, it's uh, it's pretty long. Oh, yeah. It's like one of those instances where, like, uh, the Cypher can really hurt or really help you. It's, it's almost reminiscent at times of, like, uh, 
like when it just comes to edge guarding snake from above, it reminds me of like trying to edge guard uh, King K. Rule because you know it has the yes. active hitbox coming up. Right. But right. then there's also those instances where like after it flies off, it can also come back and kind of hurt you as well too, man. So you really have to be situationally aware at all points in times, man. You know, Snake obviously is a, is a terror on stage, but off stage though things could be a little different here from as you see right now. Really struggling to get his footing, using the grenades right here to alleviate some of the pressure the forward tilt. Good stuff. Man, and both of these players just. Wasting no time getting right into it. Already uh, sitting at like 80 plus percent right now. Wow. Uh-huh. And that definitely is uh, the character snake. You know, you always want to go for all these trades. You're kind of like a bruiser. You just want to trade hits. And then eventually you'll win out because you, you just hit really hard or you, you just weigh a lot. That's right. But, you know, a couple of... Uh a couple of these exchanges like that have kind of hurt him, though, as well, too. I mean, obviously, he goes, he's going for smart stuff like that. Both of them are using up tilt uh, at his shield or just run off uh, Nair as well, too. Yeah. But um, even though Snake doesn't mind the trading, he has to make sure he has enough percent in the stock lead to go for stuff like that because Wolf hits like a ton of bricks as well. And even looking back at that game, number one, he went for down smash at the ledge. Ooh. That KO, but man, so does up smash as well, too. Good stuff right here to Pelican, man, keeping this thing close. 36% this time. The last game, he took that Ooh. stock at like 55, then it was like 44, so he's certainly working with some magic here. Oh, yeah, for sure. And oh, man, the stomp almost connects Larry, but the drop kick connects. Here comes the up smash. Oh, wait, the back air. Oh, that was so close to kill. That was actually gross. <laughs> that was crazy. Nerf Rashid donated $2. <laughs> Look, I don't know anything about that, okay? That, that's the other game, but we thank you nonetheless. Thank you for the $2. Yes. I need to figure out what I'm going to do every time we get a donation. What, what should I do? Somebody let me know on Twitter. Should I, maybe I'll recite some Hamilton lines or something, or Yo. maybe I'll do some, do some Disney. Since I can't go to Disney, I might as well turn in the guy's song. <laughs> maybe. We'll see, what, we'll see what goes down after the next donation. In the meantime, right now, Pelka with the slight lead here. Let's see how long he can hold on to it. Yeah, and Snake is a character that, especially when you have a lead, you can just be such a menace. It can be so hard to kill. Mm -hmm. That's where the trading comes really, really handy. And right now, Larry can't find a way in through this minefield. Yeah, he can. And every time he goes for a trade, he is just, he's taking, oh wait, Next. nerf, nerf underscore Snake. Okay, I gotta, I gotta. <sighs> Right from the moment when I met her, saw her, I said she's gorgeous and I fell. Cause in town there's only she, he was beautiful as me, so I'm making plans to woo and marry Belle. All right, that was my oh, guy's song. Who else should I do? That, that was very impressive, man. Was it? Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. I like it. I'm yep. going to get Belle one day, man. <laughs> I wonder what Gaston actually looks like now, canon-wise. He's probably like super bald and fat now. <laughs> that was definitely like 20 years ago. Oh, that downside. He sliced the Cypher, but Larry has brought this back at a decent amount, considering how big of a lead Pelka did have. Mm -hmm. Trying to get another slice here. That downside is definitely Ooh. a very powerful tool here. Larry still has Pelka on the ropes. Up to... Ooh. Oh, okay. I like that. Sneaky stuff. I could, uh oh Okay, watch yourself up here on that platform. He's going to go for back throw this time. They're not looking so much for the combo potential. He's just looking to keep him in a bad spot. Doesn't have to burn the air dodge. He's learned his lesson. Okay, wonderful recovery options. He's retreating and setting up shots. This is what you do as Snake, especially when you're in a deficit. Let the grenades do the work for you. Exactly. Both these players got to watch out for uh, each other's up tilts. Snake definitely having the upper range there. And Gems Chen, thank you for the $13.37. And just like that, Pelko will take game number two. That was that was because of that donation. That was oh, the yes. lucky up tilt donation. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. I love that. I love that. <laughs> uh, throw the money. Throw the money. Oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm just going to say cooler. cooler. Thank you, Cooler. Right. Another $10 here, creating goodwill, and we're getting goodwill with right. you guys in the chat. Thank you so much for the donations, guys. Man, this is awesome. I'm loving this. I'm loving the fact there's so many eyes in the Twitch chat, and they understand, like, people always think that, like, gamers don't read. Like, no, 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 gamers read. And, you know, when it's for a good cause, trust me, like, they just know. Exactly. They know, man. They know. They see the goodwill. A lot of the people in the chat, a lot of these gamers, a lot of us in general, we just grew up in the goodwill, so we know how important it is to us. You know, all jokes aside, man, I'm really excited to see just all the money that's been raised. And hopefully, too, if you're in the surrounding area, just go out, go out to the goodwill and kick it. They'll take yeah. you on tour. They'll show you the ins and outs of the organization. Hell, they might even give you a job, too. Because eSports doesn't pay all the bills yet, man. <laughs> Not just yet. Not just yet. <laughs> Not, I'm telling you, man. So one Definitely day, know the feels of that. That's right. <laughs> Oh, you just went full. I'm actually getting ready to go full time here myself pretty soon. Nice, man. Nice. It's getting harder to explain to my boss. Like, so you are doing what again? Yeah, yeah. I am talking about video games. Yeah, yeah. And you uh, get a little awkward. Yes, he said, you actually just need to get back to work. Like, okay. <laughs> I love my supervisor, man. I definitely love me some smash. Ultimate, as we kick open this match right here, the up smash closes out Pelka's first stock right now. T1's very own Larry Lur certainly 
heating up this match, using the fact that there are no platforms to his advantage here versus my man Pelka. Jay Store Thought. All right, let's go. $10. Uh, another $10 in the bank here. Creating goodwill, getting goodwill. Thank you guys so much for the donations. Keep them coming, man. Mm -hmm. I got to figure out my next impersonation after the next donation. I don't know who I'm going to do yet. Yeah, and these donations are coming real quick, which right. is which is a good thing. Thank you guys so much. Oh, the upbeat. Oh, is that it? Oh, that actually. Oh, wow. And, like, he was almost back to the legend of stage. Like, had he just been a frame quicker, man, he would have been good to go. But, again, easy come, easy go is how that saying goes. Wonderful stuff right there. Drawing this match that much closer. Obviously, he's still in a stock deficit. But the fact that we have a lot of room to work with here means that like, he can set up Woo! shop. Oh, third hand stand <laughs> with a $50 donation. <laughs> All right, I got to figure out what I'm going to do here. <laughs> Thank you guys for keeping it coming. $50. Thank you so much, guys. Creating Goodwill. We're, we're getting it out here. And another one. Another one. James yeah. New with the $5 donation. Keep that coming here. Friends in the chat. And you know, like like I pointed out earlier, the, the whoop edge guarding is another thing. That's, uh, another one. Parabellum on fire. Fire. $5 fire. donation, yeah. man. Thank Wonderful you. stuff. Thank, thank you, thank you. So thank much you. for the fire donation, man. That's right. Now, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I got I got caught up in the donation <laughs> hype. Yo, and, and you know what? That that's a good thing. That's right. You, you we, we can barely talk about the match because you guys are creating so much goodwill. Shouts to you guys. But yeah, the wolf the wolf edge guard is so deadly because even if the runoff nair misses, the up beyond the return yes. can get edge guard. And that move is so powerful that we've seen stocks just easily taken with that up beat. Yes, and historically, you know, if he has to watch out for short hot nair off stage. That means that he has to obviously outmaneuver it and go closer up underneath the ledge of the stage. And because he's hugging it, it makes it that much easier to up special him. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait a minute. KZ drops one in place. Does he have the grenade? Has it. Try Woo! to use it against him. Oh, oh my. Oh, man. Oh, man. No, the SD coming out from Pelka. I mean, Larry did have a pretty solid lead there. Um, but he was pretty close to that C4. Pelka, I mean, Snake is definitely a character that can bring it back with a few couple of trades. You just got to get on that even stock count, mm -hmm. get a couple of trades, and you, you, especially with Nikita edge guarding and all that jazz. So definitely couldn't count Pelka out just yet on that game number three. But Larry will take it over. Now going up 2 1 here against Pelka. I think what needs to happen for Pelka is. Uh, you know, it, when you play against like these br uh, bruisers, these brawlers, you know, they're enticing a fight. Like, obviously, because of how they're comprised, they can jump in and do things like short hop narrowing into whatever. Right, right. Um, and I know it can be very frustrating, especially for zoners, because once that zone is broken, now, you know, it, it just becomes a very frustrating time trying to get that character out. But what he has to do is he has to stick to his guns, man. Keep setting up shop and just not allow Larry Lur any free access points in, as you see right here. Because Larry Lur, because he's not a zoner, he's always going to make the most out of every conversion, out of throw, you know, out of back throw, out of up throw a low percent, out of down tilt, you know, whatever you name it, Wolf, he gets the most for his money. Woo. Wow, and look at that conversion. Shout out to Jay Dot Lion for the donation, man. Thank you so much for creating that goodwill with ev or with all of us. That's right. Now, Pelka in the driver's seat now, but just like that, the reversal with the Nair and Larry. Is that possibly going for the edge guard? No, just going, opting for the ledge trap with the Cypher kind of messing up, but the kicks coming through. The kicks, the up tilt. This is going to be a game of up tilt at later for sense. Maybe oh, yeah. obviously a little bit earlier for Snake, of course. Up tilt uh, being one of the strongest, if not the strongest, anti air in the game, you know. Ooh, yeah. Oh, my God. Nair, boy, they're smart. Oh. Smart, but if, oh, man. If Pelka didn't throw a, put a, pull a grenade at there, that fair could have led right into a down air. Really good stuff. Uh-huh. And that's going to be pretty much Snake's go-to. You know, I'm getting comboed. I'm getting overwhelmed. Throw out the up tilt. Throw out the grenade. Gat like donated $5. Thank you. With all this money combined, everybody's going to win this event as a winner, regardless of who comes in first, who comes in second, or who comes in 122nd, man. Everybody's going to leave a winner with the amount that's been donated. So huge, yeah. huge shout-out to everybody in the chat who's making this possible for us. And you guys just keep filling up that bar. Thank you guys so much. This, this, this would be nothing. This event would be nothing without you guys donating. And, dang, that sock would have been uh, nothing but that up air coming through. <laughs> Sometimes you got to slash the air, man. You yeah, let them message. know, man. Okay. Nice, catches the dash attack. All right, uses the dash attack of his own. Resets the situation oh. again with another throw. He is getting smooth right here. Yeah, that, that dash attack going right into another grab mm -hmm. for Wolf. And Wolf is definitely, out of all the spaces, he gets the most out of grab, like him and Falco, but more so just Wolf. So he's definitely one of those spaces where you, you, you want to get in, you want to get those juicy grabs. And uh -huh. Larry's been doing such a good job of that. Oh. oh, wow. Now that was some deceptive stuff right there. I love that little conversion. If he had he cooked it just a little bit longer, he probably would have been able to connect before uh, he was able to toss out his... Uh, his reflector, but none the less, though. Here comes the edge guarding opportunities in Nikita. Off the mark. We need to see more of that. He's going to go for forward throw. Not yeah. at the right position for down throw into up tilt. Oh, Ooh. wow. Now, that has to be disheartening to see. Yeah. The fact that he's able to up special through the Nikita like that. 
Again, Do it. setting it up. Wow, just going up through, dipping and diving, but the C4 will connect here for Pelka. We are on last stock here in this game number four. Yeah, like you said, Pelka's still playing his game. Even though Larry is trying to overwhelm him, he's got the C4 set up on that left platform. He's just setting up shot, but here comes the blasters, and Wolf definitely one of the best projectiles in this game, for sure. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think both of these two characters kind of equipped with uh, arguably the best quote-unquote projectile. I know oh, when the yeah. game came out, everybody was like, it's Wolf's Blaster. And now, obviously, after, like, don't park on the grass, they were like, oh, no, it's Nikita. You know, I'm, I'm still a firm believer. Like, they're kind of tied right now, but ain't nothing tied about this set right here. Larry Larry <laughs> certainly has the lead. Uh, look, yeah, look at the camera mix-up. <laughs> the camera mix-up. Oh, yeah. He hit him with something. He hit him with the mix-up. Dang. You know he what? E even the production getting mixed out here. Man, when you are so good, you mix the production. That's some that's some talent right there. T1's very own Larry Lair right here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, this is Top 12, the Goodwill Invitational, day number two. Man, guys and gals in the chat, keep those donations coming. There is Tommy Two-Step donated 10 dollars. Man, what are we going to do now? Maybe we should do a... a Maybe we should do some Pokemon or something. Maybe we should do, we should do Pokemon. Uh, the bum, bum, bum. I want to be the very best. Dun, dun, dun. Like no one ever was. Bum, 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 bum. To get them is my real test. The to train them is my cost. <laughs> I will travel across the land. Oh, we got hey. another donation. Oh, Cena Art. Oh, if, the, if you're an actual art account, then please, please, please go show that person some love as well, too. We need more artists in esports oh, yes. and, it's, and in cosplay as well, too. Everybody. Oh, Nairo MK. Oh, let's go. Nairo, Nairo. We know that name. Nairo MK. Thank you for the $5 donation. We're keeping the ball rolling.